black water radiation curve. But at lower temperatures, the peak wavelength, that is the peak of this curve, occurs at higher wavelengths. Also, the peak occurs lower. The peak isn't as high. But as the temperature increases, your peak gets higher. The peak gets higher and your wavelength actually decreases. As it gets hotter, this keeps happening, and the curve becomes more asymptotic towards the x-axis. So do you guys remember these curves? The hotter it gets, so depending on the temperature, the hotter it gets, the shorter the peak wavelength and the higher the amount of energy released at that wavelength. Okay? So that is what a black body radiator does. Because that's the radiation curves that it releases. But how is this related in any way to quantization, as the document suggests? Well, in the late 18th century, these guys tried to apply what they knew about the statistical inference, what they knew about the statistical mechanics and thermodynamics onto black body radiation curves. Remember, black body radiation uh, doesn't actually exist in reality. A black body radiator doesn't exist. There's nothing that's perfect at emitting everything and absorbing everything. Okay, nothing's perfect. But from the curves that they observed from the experiment, they could not replicate these curves. Again, from the approximations or whatever they used. They could not replicate these curves. In fact, they got this thing called an ultraviolet catastrophe, where they had an infinite amount of energy being released at the UV level. So what happened was, at the UV wavelength, an infinite amount of energy was being released. Is that possible? No. Clearly not, right? Break, breaks a whole ton of laws, in particular which law? Yeah, conservation of energy, right? Uh, so yeah, having an infinite amount of energy released at the UV light is impossible simply because you can't have that much, that much energy released and it's against the law of conservation of energy. So um, this ultraviolet catastrophe, which is what happened when old mechanics was applied onto this theory, onto this, onto these curves, uh, clearly was wrong. And so that meant that the model at the time was wrong. So classical mechanics could not work. Classical thermodynamics cannot work. Statistical mechanics could not work. Along guys, comes a guy called Planck, Maxwell Planck, or Max Planck. And what Planck did was he came up with the idea of saying, you know what, instead of treating this energy released by the black body radiator as a continuous stream, let's treat it as discrete packets of energy, as quantized packets of energy rather than a continuous stream. So instead of this light that's coming from this, uh, what do you call it, lamp, or neon light, instead of it coming as a continuous stream into my eye, we can assume that the energy comes in little packets. Remember, now, Planck didn't actually think that this thing had any real uh, meaning. He just thought, you know what, well, this is a nice, nice, neat mathematical trick. That's the thing work, does the job. But this actually does have meaning, uh, which we'll get into a bit later. But his idea was to basically quantize energy, to discretize energy, to basically turn energy into discrete packets. And guess what? It worked. Once he integrated it all together and you know, did the sign, whatever, whatever, he found that he got the exact same curves that were, that were produced by the experiment. So by simply assuming that energy is quantized and released in discrete amounts, he could prove, or at least extensively reproduce, these curves that are produced by black body radiators. Okay, so did we understand the gist of that? Did we understand what happened? No, we didn't really. Okay, so let me repeat it. Let me summarize our final right summary as well. Okay, so listen to the summary. Listen to it. Black body radiators are things that emit, temp emit radiation only based on one thing, and that one thing is temperature. Very good. Black body radiation curves are curves that are produced by black body radiators. And as the temperature gets hotter, the peak gets higher, and the peak wavelength gets well, shorter, or the frequency. Um, using classical mechanics, the curves could not be produced. The black body radiation curves that were produced by experiment could not be produced. In fact, something came up where you had an infinite amount of energy being released at the ultraviolet level, and that was called the ultraviolet catastrophe. 